Hey guys, it's Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Today, I am going to turn you into an absolute world's best top walk star. That's right. I've been waiting to say that all week. Today, we're talking all things walk on the Weber grill. What I love about the Weber, it is going to get insanely hot into that 650 degree range. It is going to preheat this porcelain enameled wok just right. And then today's recipe, we're going to sear off and blister some shishito peppers. We've got a great dipping sauce. Today's recipe is an absolute have to make, have to have when it comes to your next entertaining event, because these guys deliver that mildly spicy, but sweet and Asian inspired sauce flavor. You're going to love it. Thanks for hanging out with us. Let's get cooking. Let's take a little walk through the ingredients. We've got eight ounces of those shishito peppers, fresh, Beautiful, nice and crispy, mildly spicy. We're gonna add a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of flavor with some of those sweet mini peppers. Those are absolutely fantastic. We've got that canola of oil, that canola olive blend. Then we're gonna season them up with tiki for a little bit of that island flavor. We've got sweet soy sauce, orange juice, seasoned rice vinegar here, a little bit of fire honey for that sweet and that heat, and then check it out right there, a little bit of lemongrass. Hey, if you can't find lemongrass, ginger works just as good. And then right here, psst, this, this is the star of the show. This is what we are gonna walk and roll with today. That's right, the Weber porcelain enameled walk. So let's head out, get the Weber fired up, get this bad boy preheated, and then uh, time to make your walk stars. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fire up the Weber Genesis 2. What I wanna do is put that wok in ahead of time. I'm gonna let this preheat. Our cooking temp today is gonna be about 550 to 600 degrees. Now, here's my chef's tip. The beauty of this porcelain enameled wok is you don't necessarily have to season it like a traditional cast iron wok. We just lightly oil it in between uses. We will preheat this now fully, uh, and then we'll head back in, get the shishito seasoned, make our sauce, and then come back out here and wok it. First thing we need to do is get the shishitos oiled. So I went ahead and seeded and julienned those sweet peppers just because that's gonna give us such a nice touch of flavor. Then we're gonna add the shishitos that I washed and dried to make sure we didn't have any extra oil uh, or water, I should say, in the wok. Now, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil, just a light coating. That's gonna help coat these guys and allow them to blister just nicely. We'll go ahead and mix these guys up. We'll set them to the side, then we'll come back. I'll show you how to make that sauce. For the sauce, we'll start off and add that sweet soy sauce. You can find that in the uh, Asian section in your grocery store. I went with just normal orange juice, not pulpy. I didn't want to have any extra pulp. We're going to add that seasoned rice vinegar. We're going to add the, we're going to add, there we go. We're going to add the lemongrass. Like I said, if you don't have lemongrass, that ground ginger is going to work great. You're going to find the lemongrass and the ginger in squeeze tubes in uh, your produce section over by the herbs. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of honey to this just to cut some of that tartness. About a tablespoon of honey. We'll go ahead and mix this up. Now, we're going to let this sit here and do its thing while we get out and blister these shishitos. And then when we come back, we're going to put it all together for one amazing appetizer. We said 550 to 600 degrees. We are there. So I'll pour those shishitos in with those peppers as well. And now I want to put them in a small layer, you guys. We're going to shut this, let that heat go. But you can hear it. Listen, listen. You can already hear it blistering. So five to seven minutes. We'll come back here in about two minutes. Give them a check and stir them up. Right after two minutes, let's give it a check. Look at that, you guys. We're already starting to get them blistered. That is the beauty of this wok. So we're going to shut it now. Oh, and it smells so good, too. We're going to shut the lid. We're going to go for another about three minutes and we'll come back and stir them up once again. All right, here we are right after the five minute mark. One of the reasons I said go for five to seven minutes is really you wanna check doneness. Get them as blistered as you like. To me, this is perfect. I think this is great. So I'm gonna pull them at five minutes. If you want a little bit more blistering, you want a little more cook, let them go another couple minutes. All right, we are hot off the grill. I wanna give them a little seasoning, just a little bit of that tiki tiki, letting some of that sugar, onion, garlic, pepper get in there and do its thing, and then toss them around. And again, like we always say, you guys, adjust as light or as heavy as you like. All right, let's plate these guys up quick. I'll tell you, beautiful, beautiful appetizer for your friends and family. Get these guys all set, get them all rocking. put that sauce in there. This is pretty beautiful here. It might be the fastest video we've ever made. We said cook time was five to seven minutes. And I always say, uh, depending on doneness, because I pulled these at five, giving me just a beautiful char, but you may wanna go seven if you like them charred a little bit more. 
If you're new to our Ace Hardware YouTube channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on those post notifications so you'll be notified when all of our videos are live and ready for your entertaining, drooling, and barbecuing pleasure. Then be sure to leave us your questions and comments down below. Because we always say your questions and comments really help drive the content we create for you. That's right, this is all for you. And then at the end, we're talking Weber today, but we've got some amazing Weber videos coming up. Be sure to click on those and uh, really sharpen your Weber skills to make sure you are dialed in. You guys, it is time for a little quality control. I've got these all blistered. They are like mildly sweet. They smell fantastic. We hit them with a little bit of that tiki tiki. I'm dipping them in here. Life is good. Cheers.